Hey guys, what's going on today? Hope you guys had a good 4th of July weekend. I have a little uh, showcasing of some coins that I got for, uh, uh, not for myself, but for some other people. Uh, first one is the tuna coins. Take a look, see through the vinyl. Uh, the picture on Gainesville's uh, website for the tuna coin looks so good, but you know when you look at the real bullion, you know I think the picture overdid it. Um, but as far as the fish is concerned, I, I like the way it was uh, drawn and everything. But the overall quality, from what we hear, and as you can see, see even though it's new, it doesn't look spanking new. Okay, um, there was an article. I forget who it was. Uh, coin something. They had an interview with uh, uh, John Mabin from uh, Modern Coin Mart saying these coins, the condition is just really not good. And the most, the highest it would go if it were to be graded would be around MS65. I'll show you the back. It has a little bit more of a mirror finish. Right. And again, it doesn't look super clean. There's a little bit of uh, this cloudiness, you know, some scuff marks. So that's the way they're gonna come. Now, does that mean um, other dealers will have the same kind of production issues? Uh, I don't know. Um, for those of you who bought this coin, uh, not from Gainesville, Gainesville, from other coin dealers, and your coin happens to be in pretty good shape, uh, please let us know down below so that uh, people can buy the coin at a better dealer. Okay, So that was the tuna coin. Next one is a Canadian mint coin. Uh, I think this is the gold uh, bald eagle. You know, it comes in the outer box casing like this. Here it is. Uh, Double 66 had the uh, video up for this. Uh, a lot of people don't like uh, gilded coins but then there are people who do like gilded uh, gold coins. Uh, silver with a gil uh, gold on it. Uh, I particularly like this one. It was a little different because the whole coin on the outside is gold. On the on the edge here, reeded edge, right, and even on the back, it has the gold. So that's kind of cool. The queen looks different here. It's, obviously, it's a younger, looks a lot like younger than some of the other coins. Almost looks like somebody else. So, um, as far as the design for the front of this coin, uh, I do like it a lot, especially the way the, the gold eagle uh, jumps out in this uh, design here. Um, what I think they could have done better, like the mountains in the background, it's just kind of hard to see. Uh, but as far as the branch and the fish, well, the fish is gold, but the branch over there, I think they did that pretty good. Um, I think this was like what ninety dollars from Silvertown. So uh, this is one of the coins that a buddy of mine just started getting into uh, uh, collecting coins, and he's been asking me, and he chopped this one off. It's like, what do you think? And he's got a couple more coming in. So he wanted me to showcase this showcase this coin. All right, so that is the gold bald eagle uh, 2014 Canadian Royal Mint. I think they're 8,500, 75 or 8,500. Let me see. It should be on here. Hey, it's all in French on this side. Uh, it doesn't have the mintage, but I think it was 8500 Okay, so that is the gold, gold eagle. 
back in there. Well, I'll do that later. And then finally, we have the black rhinoceros. Now, I was looking at the New Zealand Mint page for this coin, and I added it into the cart, see how much it would cost to ship and everything, and they were charging like, you know, 50 bucks for shipping, so I'm like, no way am I gonna buy it from them. So, I was looking on eBay, and there was a seller, a Perth Bullion eBay seller, who had this coin, and the shipping was uh, a lot less than 50 bucks. So, uh, my friend asked me to buy for him because he didn't have enough funds um, at the time, so I bought it for him. And he said he, I could open one of he ordered two, so I, he said I could open one of these to show. Um, and I might keep one for myself, well, I don't know yet. But what's cool about this, there's a, a magnet. See this metal thing here and here? So there's a magnet on, on there, so it closes and shuts really nice. See, hear that? So that's kind of cool. Um, I really like that, the way they made it like that. So um, on to the unboxing. Here's the black rhino one ounce of a collectible coin. Let's see how this, how this is. Alright. So they explain a lot about um, the black rhino and how it's becoming extinct. Uh, 2000 mintage, I think there's a, like maybe 14 or 15 coins left on the New Zealand site. Um, and there is a uh, few sellers trying to sell this coin on eBay. So take a look at this coin. I must say this is one of the nicer coins that I've seen. Um, the reflection of the rhino with the water in the video looks pretty good but in the naked eye I thought it could have been done better I don't know it just looks better on the video for some reason and let's take a look at the back oh very nice nice and shiny well done well done I like this Take a look at the front again. Get closer. Right, Black rhinoceros. We got the tree. The water down below. There's a moon. All right. So that's what I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments, just let me know down below. Take care. Oh, I forgot to show one little thing here. This box, when it comes, you know, when you open the top like this, this part comes right, you know, it's made to come open. So the box will come out this way. And it says this side up, which I thought was a neat feature. But I just wanted to add that in. Thanks.